Performing our national anthem, that was Skylar Cole. And now we'll be back in just a moment. All right, everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analysts tonight, with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie, take it away. Well, guys, Miles Turner is one of the game's premier rim protectors. He said, quote, I change games. I'm able to push my team, and they know that when I'm back there, it makes it easier for everybody. I want to show the league what everybody in Indy has known for years, that I'm a defensive anchor, and I take pride in that. Well, he is a presence, Allie, no question. Thank you. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Indiana Pacers. On Saturday, it'll be the Detroit Pistons coming to town. Then on Monday, they'll be playing against James Harden and the Philadelphia 76ers. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. And a look at the starters for the Spurs. At the two and the three, it's Vassell and Johnson. Isaiah Roby out there with Jakob Pertl. And it's Jones in at the point. And for Indiana, they've got Buddy Heald, Miles go. Turner out there with Jalen Smith, then it's Halliburton, and it's Nimhard in at shooting guard. Well, the pace figures to be fast tonight. Two teams that thrive when the tempo is at its quickest. You're going to love this one. Up and down. Neither squad likes to use too much of the shot clock. They'll be looking to get out in transition every time they get a chance. Jones misses. Halliburton outside. Pass to Turner. And here's Heald, covered by Johnson. And it's Heald missing. Jones against Halliburton. Pirtle with a screen on Halliburton. Jones, the pass to Pirtle. Now here's Johnson. There's the three. He drops it from range. A solid three-point shooter. Johnson makes the defense pay for giving him light. Pass to Turner. Here's Heel. Halliburton's got an open look. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. And obviously their goal right now is to feed him the ball and get him going. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Now here's Vassell. Nine points in his last outing. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. A lottery pick in the 2020 draft, Devin Vassell has seen increased minutes and it's led to contributions on both ends of the court. And the first one at the line is good. You know, talking about Devin Vassell, what stands out to you about his defense, Smitty? B.A., it's his length and instincts. Vassell prides himself on being disruptive. And on top of being a solid on-ball defender, he's an absolute pest off the ball. Oh. 
Hits both from the stripe. A lottery pick. Devin Vassell has turned into a big-time talent. Someone who will be a force in this league for years to come. Now here's Halliburton. Here's Turner. Misses off the left iron. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Vassell left side. Pass to Jones. Gets stolen by Heald. Hits an even three-on-three -three break. And here's Halliburton. And the three off target. And maybe it's the adrenaline talking, but they're one for four to start this game. Need to settle down. Jones finds Pirtle. Now here's Vassell. It's stolen by Halliburton. In transition, here come the Pacers. He can't get it to go. Pirtle with some nice D. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Healed against Johnson. Pass to Pirtle. Six to shoot. Spurs need to get one up here. The cell. No good with the triple. Indiana trailing here. Healed with the ball. He's picked up by Pirtle. And in the first quarter, about three minutes played. Outside heel. The 17-footer. Kept alive by Indiana. Turner, a screen on Vassell. Here's Heald. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Jakob Pertl. When you talk about the best shooters in the NBA, Buddy Hield has to be in the conversation. Yeah, and for the Pacers, things had gotten stale. So they bring in a new coach in Rick Carlisle, a new potential star in Tyrese Halliburton, a fresh start for this franchise. First one falls for him. Indiana switching things up recently, going forward in a new direction. You know, B.A., change can be a good thing. Sometimes organizations can get comfortable winning 42, 44 games, losing in the first round. But the Pacers clearly want more. And you know what? I respect that. So he gets them both. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Pirtle, the pass to Jones. Shoots over Halliburton. San Antonio again missing. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Here's Nimhart. Coming in off a 14-point game last time out. Halliburton misses. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Jones, the pass to Vassell. Here's Johnson. He gets it in there. Johnson's got five now. That's not going to stop Keldon Johnson. He's good at forcing his way through contact. Johnson against Heald. Picked by Smith. Lays it up and banks it in. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Now here's Jones. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Here's Halliburton. Turner for three. Jones grabs the board. Vassell outside from deep three-point range. The shot misses. Indiana's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. And here's Halliburton. He picked up 10 in his last game. Pass to Turner. Back to Halliburton. And he takes 
takes that one up and powers it through. Good find there by Turner. He sees an opening and swiftly feeds the ready shooter. Jones finds Johnson. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And when you think of the time Johnson spent with the U.S. team, I mean, the coaches and players he was around, absolutely huge for this young player and his development. Johnson was part of that U.S. team that played in 2021. Yeah, what a great experience, Grant. Oh, B.A., I mean, I can speak in great detail how much you can gain playing for the U.S. team. Johnson continued to grow as a player after that summer and was a great addition to that team as well. That one misses. You know, not only does Keldon Johnson bring your team scoring, he also is a great rebounder. And he ends up missing both free throws. And with every new NBA season, Grant, it's always fun to see which players have a breakout year. NBA, it seems like guys always have breakout years. Usually we see it with the younger players, but sometimes it's with guys who've been in the league and are now in new situations. Last year, we saw breakout seasons for Darius Garland, Jordan Poole, and Tyrese Maxey, just to name a few. <laughs> And a quick pause here. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard and check out last season's best shot blockers. Fifth is Jakob Pertl. It's obvious that he completely dedicated himself to protecting the rim, doing everything he could to get his hands on as many shots as possible. First free throw is good. This Spurs franchise, one of the most storied in the sport, really trying to get back to their winning ways. And Johnson drops them both. Well, Smitty, how about the Spurs here? A short playoff drought the last few seasons. They've only missed the playoffs seven times since coming to San Antonio, B.A., including the last three years in a row. This fan base isn't used to these types of seasons. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Now Jones. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Launches a three. The shot by Johnson, no good. Indiana's gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Here's Heald. Rebounded by the Spurs. Roby's got his fourth rebound in this one. And out of bounds, the Pacers will take it. Collins, he's checked in for San Antonio. Bates Diop comes in for Roby. Indiana leading. Outside heel. Turner, a screen on Johnson. Heald for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Heald's got eight points. This is his shot. The defense must chase Heald off that three-point line. Vassell outside. Collins passes to Johnson. Bates D off the screen. Clock at six. Outside Jones. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Indiana. And going against San Antonio, their first meeting of the year. Yeah, sweeping this club in the last season series was probably the highlight of an underwhelming year. Now here's Smith. Over Jones. Smith no good. Vassell against Smith. Pass to Jones. Around the back and lays it in. Nice. Great pass from Devin. He's all about doing what's best for the team. Timeout called. The Pacers. Thank you. 
San Antonio on D. It's a three-point game. Pass to Matherin. Driving inside. Here's Jackson. Over McDermott. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Doug McDermott. And we've seen the Spurs part ways with some of their best veterans. It really speaks to the talent at the top of the 2023 NBA draft. Savvy organizations like San Antonio will time their rebuilds to the years when the draft boasts some of those elite prospects. And he makes a first. After making the playoffs five years straight, the Pacers have struggled to get back to the postseason. Yeah, you know, B.A., they're trying to go through a rebuild right now, and that's going to take some time. But the front office and coaching staff appear comfortable with this direction, knowing it might be a while before they make the playoffs again. Off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. I mean, there are some great guys in this league. Coach Greg Popovich sticks out. Just a tremendous person. I loved competing against his teams. Now here's Collins. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to McConnell. Here's Matherin, guarded by Richardson. Here's Matherin. Four on the clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. The shot by Duarte, no good. Coach Pop, the NBA all-time leader in wins. Any memories facing off with his Spurs? Well, I always knew that his teams would play hard. They'd be prepared. They played the right way. And, of course, they exemplified the toughness and character of their leader, Coach Pop. Now here's Collins. And there's the rejection. to the paint well timed pass and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup and the Pacers lead by six San Antonio has gone just one of six from downtown trying to find a spark here yes indeed a rough stretch offensively they could really use a basket pass to Bates Dia shoots over Jackson oh and Jackson with the block McConnell outside And there's the screen. Tries a 10-footer. And the jumper is on the mark. And now it's an 8-point Indiana lead. And the Spurs shooting just 21% in the first quarter. McConnell against Richardson. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. 
You talk about a guy who's added some strength over the years. Look at the hit Josh took, and he was still able to convert. Pass to Bataze. A minute 35 left in the first. Dorte shot is good. Dorte's got the second bucket on the night. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Jang, he's checked in for Collins. For the break here, let's see which teams racked up the assists during last year's campaign. San Antonio in second. Distributing the ball is so important in this game. If you don't move the basketball, your team will ultimately not be successful. Bottom line. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Here's Langford. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. McDermott. And McDermott with a slam. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Here's McConnell. The Spurs making their last shot to the middle. Oh, it's stolen. There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Richardson. Let's go with a three. The shot off that time. So Indiana will take it the other way. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, I think they'd like to forget that game. You usually want to find some teaching moments. But in this case, it might be best to just destroy the tape. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we overanalyze things. Can be better to just let it go. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Now here's McDermott. Puts up a three. Buddy Heald has been leading the charge for the Indiana Pacers. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. And more NBA action on 2K Sports, coming your way right after this. Back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball. 
playing selfless basketball and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. Daniel Tice is out there with Smith. Then there's T.J. McConnell, and it's Taylor in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Pass to McConnell. Tice outside. Six on the shot clock. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. San Antonio trailing here. In addition to affecting the game at both ends, Matherin has already proven to be a tremendous leader. Oh, yes he has, B.A. He's a high intangibles guy. A hard worker, really leads by example. And he's clutch. He elevates his play in big-time situations. And it's Indiana's ball. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. They host the Pistons after this one. It's game three of a trifecta at home. Here's Matherin. Here he goes. Johnson with the defensive effort. The Spurs shooting only 26% for this game. Not good. Pass to Jang. Now Jones. He's marked by McConnell. Jones against McConnell. Back to Jang. From outside the arc. Taylor with a rebound. The Pacers have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Pass to Smith. Tice outside. Tice is screen on Jones. Here's Matherin. Indiana again missing. And so it's San Antonio with it. No points yet here in the second quarter for him. Here's Sohan. Outside Johnson. From the arc. It's rebounded by Indiana. Smith's got six rebounds now in the game. McConnell outside. Smith against Johnson. Here's Matherin. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Jones against McConnell. Pass to Tice. Here's the three. The rebound by the Spurs. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Hornets. One thing we saw from them that game, and we see it around the league, an over-dependency on the three ball. You know, if you're cold from range, there are other ways to score. You can post up, dribble drive, get out in transition. Here's Taylor. Tice passes to McConnell. Smith with a screen on Jones. Here's McConnell. Pass to Smith. To the inside. Here's Taylor. There's the triple. The shot. No good. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Commissioner Silver's open to change. He said, quote, we're not beholden to pure tradition. We care a lot about it, but all the factors I think about when we talk about changing the rules, I'm less concerned about that. We should live in the present, be respectful of those records, but also be willing to adjust when it makes sense. B.A.? All right, thanks, Alec. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Last season, we saw some shocking single-game performances, Smitty. Several stars had 45-plus point nights, or even well above. Love that we are ba and i think because a lot of the three-point shooting adds to a lot of buckets it's a shooter's league right now prolific scores are rising to the top
Burden with a ball. Outside heel from downtown. Rebounded by Roby. Roby's got five rebounds in the game. Jones, the pass to Vassell. And here's Jones. Back to Vassell. Shot clock at six. 11 feet out. Oh, and Turner with a block. An impressive shot blocker. Turner's combination of size and timing on defense is so valuable. Now Halliburton. Pass to Nimhart. Three-pointer. Knocks down the triple. And the Pacers lead by nine. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. To the wing, right side. Jones in the post, defended by Halliburton. Jones, the pass to Collins, tries it from 19. Healed with the defensive effort. He just couldn't finish the job that time, and too bad, because it was a nice look. Pass to Turner. Healed with the ball. The three. Collins with the rebound. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Oh, and Turner with a block. Now here's Halliburton. Here's Nimhart. Back to Halliburton. From deep. Gets the three to fall. Halliburton's got seven points in the game. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. Must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. Healed against Jones. Beyond the arc. And it's healed, missing. San Antonio's gone one of four from three point land here in the second. Jones finds Vassell. Back to Jones. Vassell, a screen on Halliburton. Jones, the pass to Collins. Here's Bates Diop. This one for three. They grab their own miss. Just a big play at this juncture of the game. Second chance points could be the key for them. The impressive effort right there. That's what they need to mount a comeback. Heald passes to Turner. Picked it out of midair. Back come the Spurs in transition. Vassell outside. Jones against Halliburton. To the wing on the left. Here's Collins. And Turner with the block. Here's Nimhart. He's guarded by Vassell. Outside for Halliburton. Healed from outside. San Antonio with a rebound. Well, so far, his cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Pass to Bates Diop. Collins with it. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And Collins with the slam. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. Floats one, and Halliburton finishes inside. Halliburton's got nine. Such a graceful move, showing off the floater game. Now a timeout called by San Antonio. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated.
A line change here for San Antonio. Here's Pirtle. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. He was really aggressive on the glass, too. He really racked up on the boards out there. McDermott from outside. He can't get that one to fall. So the Pacers will take it the other way. McConnell against Richardson. Tice sets a screen. Here's Duarte. And he drops it in from the low post. And it's a 12-point Pacer lead. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tice. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Pass to Bassey. Now here's McDermott. Five to shoot. They set the pick. Puts one up from 19. Good on the jump shot. So it's the Pacers now. Ten point lead. Here's Duarte. High post Pataze. It's stolen by Pirtle. Richardson against McConnell. Unloads from 13. Again, the Spurs score. With great length for his position, Josh Richardson rising above and knocking down that mid-range jumper. Now McConnell. Here's Duarte. Pass to Tice. There's the drive. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line. Third of the end. Daniel Tice. Two shots. Shooting two. He's off on the first. He's off on the second. Matherin tipped. Yeah, the reach is amazing. Sohan will get his fair share of blocks during his career. McDermott outside. Pass to Richardson. There's a screen by Jay from the high post. And there are the Spurs with another bucket. Indiana leading. McConnell passes to Tice. Here's Duarte, guarded by Richardson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line. For the Pacers. Chris Duarte. Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls.
and so he makes both from the line. San Antonio trailing here. Here's Lankford. McDermott with a screen on McConnell. Here's Lankford. Soft touch off the glass. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Pass to Duarte. Here's Matherin. The three ball sinks the tray. And the Pacers lead by nine. Just one of six this quarter. Trying to shoot his way out of this funk. Here's Langford. He's marked by McConnell. Taylor with a rebound. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. Smith, he's checked in for Taylor. And San Antonio with a change here, too. Jones, he's checked in for Lankford. So hits one and misses one at the line. San Antonio has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. McDermott, the pass to Jones. Here's Jang. Pass to McDermott. The floater. Matherin with a rebound. Inside. McConnell, good. McConnell's gotten his second bucket. And I'll tell you, Matherin's passing game has a solid foundation. Now, hopefully, it continues to grow here. McDermott from outside. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And that concludes the first half. The Pacers out in front, up by 12. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Hello everybody, we're here to break it all down and through the first half of play it's a very commanding lead for the Indiana Pacers. Relying on their subs to carry the load offensively, man, that's their recipe. Some terrific role players on this team, as you would say, Jack, the others. Yeah, you got a bunch of microwaves on that bench. And let's focus now on the two opposing guys who were battling in the first half. There were sparks out there. They've been assertive at the offensive end, willing and able to shoulder the scoring for their teams. Yeah, they put on a show for us, Jack. You know, it's something we kind of expected, but two great competitors are really going at it. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. And the Pacers shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting the second half with. At the two and the three, it's Vassell and Johnson. Jakob Pertl out there with Isaiah Roby. And it's Jones in at the one spot. Here's Nimhart. He's guarded by Vassell. Turner, a screen on Johnson. And the basket by Heal. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. 
Jones against Halliburton. Now here's Jones. Vassell outside. Picked by Pirtle. Vassell passes to Pirtle. Out of bounds. It'll be Indiana's ball. And taking a look at last year's stats. Here were the players that led the way in terms of steals. Fifth is Tyrese Halliburton. Last year, he was really opportunistic defensively, creating havoc. Pass to Nimhart. Halliburton outside. And again, it's Indiana with a three. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. Now here's Pirtle. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Vassell can't get it to go. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. And as solid as Pirtle is during the game, his free throws grab can be an issue. B.A., it really limits his minutes during close games late. You know, he's right around 50% for his career. He has decent form, so there is some hope for improvement. Great ball movement there by Keldon, making the smart play. Pass to Turner. And here's Heald. Got a piece of it. Back to Turner. Six on the shot clock. Here's Halliburton. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Jakob Pertl. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. The ideal guard in today's NBA, Tyrese Halliburton, has length at 6'5". Now he can run the offense, plus Tyrese is an excellent three-point shooter. Free throw good. Halliburton. And with Halliburton, the stats show a complete guard, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about this. 40% from deep. Halliburton's been top 10 in the league in assists. Defensively, just racking up steals. Tyrese can play the one through three. He does just about everything. And both free throws good for Halliburton. The Spurs shooting a low 31%. Their offense is lacking. Pass to Roby. Outside Johnson. Hits a three-pointer. Johnson's got 13. We are seeing more and more of this from Keldon Johnson. His confidence allowing him to catch fire. Turner, a screen on Jones. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. And the shot's good. Turner's got his first points in this one. All second half, they haven't gotten stops with any consistency. Pass to Pirtle. Here's Johnson. On the wing, Vassell. For three. The Pacers pull it in. And this is a game he'd like to forget. And the worst part, it's bringing down the whole squad. Halliburton, the pass to heel. From outside, off the mark. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Man, killed and Johnson showing off that vert. Indiana's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Healed up top. And that's a foul called on Jakob Pertl. That's his third foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Down to five on the shot clock. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. A prolific score dating back to his college days. Heal just understands how to generate points. two shots. The 
first free throw is good. That one's no good. San Antonio has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Jones, the pass to Pirtle. Down low. Here's Vassell. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Shooting for San Antonio. Devin Vassell, one shot. One shot. And so it's Indiana with it. It's a 13-point game. Halliburton against Jones. Turner, a screen on Jones. Halliburton for three. He's got it. Six of ten now. And in the second half here, they're shooting a terrific percentage from three. The Spurs have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Now a timeout called by San Antonio. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Pacers making a switch here. Brissett's checked in. Collins, he's checked in for San Antonio. Bates Diop comes in for Roby. Jones. Outside Johnson from behind the arc. Can't hit that one. So Indiana will take it the other way. Halliburton outside. Four three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Johnson with a bucket. Hey, continue to stack it up from three. He's got two in each half so far. Halliburton outside. Turner inside. Bates Diop on him. Halliburton outside. Clock at six. 
Here's Nimhart. Offline with a three. For San Antonio, they've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Vassell outside. To the middle. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. When Keldon Johnson gets near the rim, he's ready to dunk it home. Defense, better be aware. Collins against Turner. Pass to Brissett. The three. San Antonio with a rebound. Outside Jones. Vassell outside. The three is up. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got six rebounds here tonight. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. And it's healed, missing. And there's a whistle. That goes on Devin Vassell. That'll be a second foul of the game. And the Spurs making a change here. Passy's checked in. Indiana's gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Halliburton against Jones. Batase with a screen. Inside. Oh, got a piece of it. Halliburton against Vassell. Let's it go from 14. And he gets that one. Vassell's got five points in the quarter. Devin Vassell with a great feel when to use the mid-range jumper. Such a skill swing, man. Pass to Duarte. Out to the wing. Here's Matherin. Connects from downtown. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. For San Antonio, they've gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in the third. Here's Bassey. Back to Jones. To the paint. Here's Collins. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Collins has got his second basket of the night. Always a good possession when you can get that kind of look. Halliburton with the ball. 20 points for him. Pass to Matherin. Preset the screen. No good with a jumper from the wing. For San Antonio, they've gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Jones, the pass to Vassell. Here's Bassey, defended by Halliburton. Back to Vassell. Now here's Jones. Bates D off the screen. The baseline, J. It's tipped. Here's Duarte. He's got 10. Pass to Bataze. Let's it go from deep. No luck on that one. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Outside Jones. Collins outside. And here's Vassell. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Pacers. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense One hasn't shot. been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. Well, something else that stands out is how they've shared the ball. I mean, they're getting a lot of their points from sharp passing. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. to Duarte. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now. That's on Josh Richardson. Well, that was clearly a foul. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away, but at some point, everything just clicks. 
It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course, Grant. <laughs> Bates Diop, he's checked in for San Antonio. Jones comes in for Vassell. good from the line that time at just about 85 percent from the line tonight they've looked more and more comfortable as the game's gone on jones up top he's marked by mcconnell jones misses the pacers shooting 40 percent so far in this one pass to mcconnell here's the taze Fires the three. San Antonio with a rebound. Bates Diop's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Richardson. Outside Jones. Tries to break his ice. And the layup is good. Jones has got his second bucket of the night. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. And there's a pick. Pass to Duarte. Here's the Taze. The three is up. And the three-pointer goes. The Taze's got five now. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. Here's Jones. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Here's Matherin, defended by Jones. To the left wing. There's a minute 40 left in the third. Just five on the clock. Jackson with a screen on Richardson. And stolen by McDermott. Pass to Bates Diop. Collins outside. Jones with the ball. He's marked by McConnell. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. And some changes here for the Pacers. Tice comes in for Bataze. And it's Taylor in for Duarte. One shot. Free throw off from Jones. Six to shoot. McDermott outside. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And for Indiana, they're shooting around 41% in the third quarter. McConnell against Richardson. To the inside. Stolen by Jones. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. At the line for the Spurs, Trey Jones. At the line for Keith. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And some changes here for the Pacers. Smith, he's checked in for Jackson. And it's Nimhart in for Taylor. And San Antonio with a change here, too. Roby's checked in.
He hits the second from the line. 36 seconds left in the third. Pass to Tice. Here's Matherin. Buries it down low. Give him eight points now. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. 15 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. And here's McDermott. Clock at four. The shot. And so it's the Indiana Pacers going into the break up 12. And the three ball has been huge in building this lead. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Rick Carlisle had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Your job is just to stay in front of this guy. Don't blow by. And Coach Carlisle preaching strong defense there. The yeah, basic fundamentals. Doesn't want to see anyone on his team get burned on this end. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Buddy Heald is out there with Jalen Smith. Then there's Miles Turner. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's Nimhard in at the two. That's the five for the Pacers. You know, as ice cold as he was in the first half, that's how hot he has been since the break. No one can match up with him right now. Smith with a screen on Richardson. Here's Halliburton. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line. For the Pacers. Jalen Smith. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. They're doing great work at the free throw line this half. That bodes well for their chances to close out this game. Good on both. Now Vassell. Oh, and Turner with a block. And they recover it. Pirtle, the pass to Vassell. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Indiana. Smith's got rebound number eight now. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Nice shot by Turner. Smart bucket by Turner. Use your length and score it in close. Now here's Vassell. Pass to Pirtle. Outside Johnson. On the wing, Richardson. Shot clock at five. Screen by Roby. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. A little pick and roll action. Richardson, very unselfish. It's the man with a nice catchable pass. Turner, a screen on Richardson. Halliburton with the ball. Richardson picks him up. He was all alone on that one. Smith's got five points in the quarter. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's Vassell. Rebounded by Heald. Heald's got his fourth rebound in this one. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Halliburton outside. Turner, a screen on Richardson. Here's Halliburton. Pass to Nimhart. No good from outside. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. 
Vassell left side. Here's Roby. Three-pointer off the mark. The Pacers have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Now here's Turner. Now healed, covered by Johnson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Keldon Johnson. At the line for Indiana, Buddy Heal, two shots. And he drops the first. Collins, he's checked in for San Antonio. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Boy, you gotta like what Tyrese Halliburton has done in this game. At some point, you have to try and force the ball out of his hands. But that's easier said than done. present our new balance player of the game Tyrese Halliburton can you say vintage <laughs> wow this was a vintage performance I mean so much of the game is about the three ball today but his focus was going hard into the paint and doing damage from inside hey these fans love him so much and when he gets it going they respond the crowd's energy fueled his performance San Antonio has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Vassell, left side, uses the glass to finish the layup. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Indiana's gone 1 of 2 from deep in this quarter. Smith with a screen on Richardson. Halliburton, the pass to Smith. And Collins with the big block. Pass to Vassell. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Pirtle, the pass to Johnson. Money on the 19-footer. Johnson's got 22. Quick shooting from Johnson, getting the drop on the defense. Here's Nimhart. Back to Halliburton. Takes the three. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. The Spurs have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Vassell outside. Johnson with it. And he drives in. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. 
Beautiful work by Johnson. Out thinking the defense, using the pick and roll to get some room. Halliburton, the pass to Heald. To the paint. Here's Smith. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line. For Indiana. Jalen Smith. Two shots. And he makes a first. Jones, he's checked in for Richardson. That one misses, so he goes one for two. For San Antonio, they've got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Jones misses. The Pacers have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Pass to Halliburton. Turner, a screen on Jones. Oh, good whistle there. Fourth team five at the line for the Pacers. Tyrese Halliburton, two shots. First one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Jones, the pass to Vassell. Outside Johnson. Driving in to the middle. Hurdle. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. You know, the first player ever drafted out of Austria. Jakob Hurdle is blazing his own path, inspiring a new wave of basketball players. Two shots. First free throw is good. You know, Pirtle's country of Austria, they've never qualified for the games or world championships, Smitty. You're right, B.A. I know he really carries the flag for Austrian heat, but the game is growing there because of Jakob Pirtle. Look at what Dirk did for their neighbors in Germany. And so Pirtle nails both of them. What you love about Jakob Pirtle is his size, a seven-footer who plays hard on both ends of the floor. Halliburton, the pass to Heald. Pass to Nimhart. Jacks up a three. Fires in the triple. And the Pacers lead by 15. More than just a score. Heald moves the ball well, especially when his guys are open. There's a screen by Johnson. Here's Jones. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to be on Tyrese Halliburton. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
first one falls. And the Spurs making a change here. Bates Diop's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Indiana's gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Jones against Halliburton. Smith with a screen on Jones. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Halliburton's got 24 points. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Jones, the pass to Vassell. Outside Johnson. Driving to the basket. Here's Bates Diop. Back to Johnson. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I love whenever Johnson goes at the defense inside because it puts them in a very difficult position. throw drops for Johnson. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. And Johnson drops them both. The Pacers have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Pass to Halliburton. Smith right side. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got his fifth assist in this one. Jones against Halliburton. And here's Johnson. Overhealed. Here's Bates Diop. From deep, Johnson. Pure from three-point range. Johnson's got nine points in the quarter. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Smith with a screen on Jones. The 11-footer. Halliburton misses. The Spurs have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Here's Jones. Outside Johnson. Bates D off the screen. Six on the shot clock. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Indiana's gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Pass to Heel. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second personal foul. 15-5. At the line. From Indiana. Buddy Heal. Two shots. Good from heel. Heald hits them both. Here's Jones. Collins outside. Here's Johnson. Johnson. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. It's obvious he's taken it upon himself to try and keep them alive. 
Timeout called the Pacers. To the Pacers. Both teams making some changes here. It gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. He likes what he's seeing, but he cautioned his players. We are not far enough ahead to assume anything. Momentum can shift in a heartbeat. We have to be diligent, and we have to be smart. Ali, thank you. to Halliburton. Smith outside. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Smith's got 11 points here in the second half. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Jones in the post, defended by Halliburton. Outside Jones. Five on the clock. Pass to Vassell. And a miss there on the triple. He continues to let it fly. But the makes have been few and far between. Turner, a screen on Jones. Puts it up from 12. Here's Matherin. Rebounded by Roby. Trying to close out. You gotta know who's hot and who's not. Outside Jones. Pass to Roby. Now here's Johnson. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Nimhart. Now here's Turner. Defended by Jones. Into the lane. It's rebounded by Indiana. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Pass to Halliburton. And a two-handed jam! Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And San Antonio has possession after the basket by Indiana. Here's Johnson. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Johnson's got 13 points in this quarter. In his bag, Keldon Johnson. Wow. Pass to Turner. A minute 31 left in the fourth quarter. And he banks in the layup. And the Pacers lead by 17. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Pacers. 
I'd say the rim protection really turned things around in their favor. <laughs> yeah, their defensive rotations have been superb. They've been trying to challenge every shot. I love their effort. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Tyrese Halliburton. What was impressive to me, it felt like he made an impact in so many areas. Some of the effort won't show up in the stat sheet, but I noticed it. That's an inspired ball club. They fought hard, and during the most important moments, they made big plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Matherin, covered by Johnson. Shots good by Matherin. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Collins, no good. Indiana on offense. They lead by 17. Halliburton against Vassell. And here's Halliburton. And so Indiana takes this one by a big margin. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Okay, buddy, looking at the defensive side, talk about the effort and the focus you showed tonight. Uh, we just more locked in. We had a long film room talk, and uh, we had a good dialogue and back and forth. And, uh, it all comes down to trust and trusting everybody and make sure everybody has each other's back. And that's what we did. We had each other's back, and uh, we played together for team defense. That trust is everything. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.